Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a super quick tutorial on how I do this hair. You guys had tons of questions from my vlog on Instagram and on here. So I figure I will share it with you because it's super easy to do. So I am just gonna walk you through all the steps. I'm in the bathroom because really good lighting here and I just finished doing my hair here. So why not? I am going to be honest, I feel like the second day um, is better than the first day for this hairstyle and the dirtier you get, your hair gets, the better it looks. So my hair is just washed, um, tomorrow it will look even better but I just wanted to share how I do it because it is super easy and I think it's super cute. So if you want to know how I got this hairstyle, just keep watching. Okay, so as you could tell, I just washed my hair and it's still partially wet and very curly. So now this first step actually varies depending on your hair type. My hair is not easy to blow dry. I can't just blow dry it any old way because it would just look like a total fro and the hairstyle would not come out cute. So I am not blow drying it perfectly like I normally would if I was just going to leave it blow dry, but I am giving it a quick blow dry just to make sure that it's nice and smooth for the next steps but if your hair could just air dry and is not super curly and frizzy or if your hair is just really easy to blow dry like you could just blow dry it any old way that's what you could do also if your hair has been just blow dry for a couple of days then you could also skip this step and then just move on to the next two steps to get the loose wave look that I'm actually sharing. So I just wanted to mention that here I am just blow drying my hair in big chunks with my round brush just to again, just get it smooth so my hairstyle comes out much better. One thing I forgot to record is that I do spray my hair with a Miracle Tail Living uh, product every time I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it or flat iron it or put any heat on it I always make sure I use some type of protecting spray and I really love the Miracle 10 I've been using it for so long and it just works amazing So now that my hair is finally done, we're going to go ahead and move on to the styling part of this video, which is super easy, you guys. As you can tell, I parted my hair in the middle because I feel like this look looks best like that. But if you're not into it, you could go ahead and part it wherever you want. Okay, so for this next step, you're going to grab your flat iron. This one was Tone's Mom's. Mine is actually a thinner flat iron, which makes this a little bit easier, I think, at the top. But all you're going to want to do is make sure the top of your head is nice and smooth and straight. That's what I just did, kind of like my roots. And I'm also trying to take care of all my baby hairs. You know, postpartum hair growth is real, you guys. My baby hairs are insane. Tone's Mom is always making fun of me. But... Once you get the top nice and straight, you're going to go ahead and just make sure that the bottom layer of your hair is nice and straight so you don't have any waves going in or out. And then you're going to go ahead and flat iron the end of your hair really good. So the tips of your hair, they just want to be nice and straight. Okay, so once you have everything straight and smooth out, this is when we're going to actually curl our hair. So you're going to grab your curling iron or curling wand. I'm using a curling wand because it's what I feel comfortable with. This is a one inch barrel. You're going to go ahead and grab about an inch thick piece of hair just from the top of your hair. And you're going to go ahead and let that flat on the barrel and wave your hair away from your face. One important thing is you want to leave about two inches from the root of your hair to where you start curling this is so hard for me to explain so i hope you guys could follow through by the video and then another important thing is you're going to go ahead and leave the end straight so you're going to leave about two inches at the top and two inches at the bottom so essentially all you're doing is curling the middle part of your hair the part that you did not touch with your flat iron and all you're doing is just grabbing same size sections on each side so you pretty much end up with like four sections on each side of your head and again you just keep curling away from your face so away from your first face on your right side and away from your face on your left side on this side you are able to see a little better on how i parted um each piece so i just wanted to leave that there for you guys to see again this is super hard for me to describe um but i hope you guys get it from the video
Okay, so once you've curled that top layer of hair, you guys are pretty much done and this should not have taken you more than five minutes. I'm telling you, it is so easy. You're gonna go ahead and smooth out your hair with your fingers and if you feel like it's looking a little bit too straight or a little bit too flat, you could go ahead and add a few more curls just underneath that top layer. You do not wanna curl the bottom of your hair um, or the bottom part you just want to keep that nice and straight so all I did was add a few more curls on each side and that is about it again just run your fingers through it and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some product just because I like to get more volume this product is amazing it is by living proof and it is the perfect hair day bodybuilder this just really gives your hair a lot of volume so you just kind of like hold your hair up any old way and you spray in between and you can see the difference this also will help your curls stay in place um, and then the last thing I'm using is this chi hairspray I don't usually use hairspray but as you can tell my baby hairs are insane so all I did was spray it at the top and use a comb to just make those little baby hairs go down but that is it here I'm just adding a little bit more of a curl because I felt like I just moved them out too much with my fingers but that is it you guys this is the look I hope you guys enjoyed it I do want to be give credit to the fashion blogger that um, showed this tutorial in her Instagram because she is my favorite so you guys should definitely check her out okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video like I said it's super easy and tomorrow it will look much better um you could add a couple curls tomorrow and it just would look really good it lasted me a few days and i was super happy with it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up sorry for the mess um if you enjoyed it and you want more of this type of tutorials and i'll see you next time bye